He's not like most boys. Hello, bidgets. My name is Fuck You. This is my channel. And if you're gonna be racist about the coronavirus, you can just- The door. The door is right there. You might hear some chitter chatter in the background. That is my roommate's gaming. It's obvious that I've painted a lot on this channel already. And for those of you who paid attention last week, you would know that I went to UPenn to do a workshop for the Asian club. I forgot the actual club name, but basically I got to paint with them and I taught them how to do acrylic pouring. It was really fun. They did an amazing job. I surprised myself because I actually never did it before. I'll do a video about it someday. It's just a lot of paint that I would need. But part of the gift that they gave me for going there was a hydro flask. So this obviously holds a lot. Of value already and I have a lot of water bottles that have stickers on them and I'm not gonna put more on them but you can put stickers on yours because guess what I got sticker merch and yeah that was a terrible transition I know get them while they last there's a limited amount at the moment and there's also some other stuff on sale on the merch site and listen I know someone's gonna make a visco girl comment and to be honest I get it. I still think these are overpriced. I don't like how they were hyped by tumblr but it was free and when I got it they said you should paint it and I was like I am too scared to say no because today was such a fun day, but I really don't have the confidence in painting a water bottle. Yes! So here we are. I've actually had a Hydro Flask before. Five years ago, I bought one from like Dick's Sporting Goods. This is before every goddamn person in LA owned one. Who knew I would be a trendsetter, you know? And I kind of hated it because like, yeah, I kept my water cold and my tea hot, but then again, almost every thermal bottle does the same thing. And every time I dropped it, it would dent. And that fucking hurts. I had the same exact one in a teal color and I dented it down here, right here. And listen, they're not for clumsy people, except when I was in ninth grade, you know, I, I was still now, I'm a clumsy bitch. This is not the ideal water bottle for me. Plus the swell I have, when they drop, it doesn't crack. It doesn't dent, it doesn't ruin the design on it. And I do understand the appeal of a Hydro Flask because you get to paint it and customize it. But let me be controversial for a little bit. Most of the designs that I've seen, especially on YouTube, not TikTok as much, those are like actual artists that can do stuff. They're kind of, they're kind of basic. I've seen far too many people who have sunflowers on their Hydro Flask. So number one, that's not what I'm gonna do. I get it, you've all said it's my brand, but one thing that I don't like about YouTubers is that when they find something that can be their brand, they abuse it for years. And I don't wanna do that, so like, I'm not gonna paint sunflowers that often anymore, just so you know. Sure, I'll paint some because I genuinely like them, but not a whole video will be dedicated to painting things I can do. That's boring. <laughs> I've also seen hydro dipping and like, yeah, that's cool, but I can't do that in here. And other people that customize it, they, they put like flowers on it and that's just but I wish people made them more intricate and I know there are some people on YouTube that do it, but for the most part, all I've seen is like visco, aesthetic, plants. I would want it to be painted with something cool and that represents who I am, not just like, it's cute. But if you want to paint sunflowers, go on ahead. But like, I, that's not my thing anymore. And because I'm not good enough to paint like shading and like wallpapers and landscapes, it's gonna look a little more cartoony. So here's what I have. I did not record me sketching this because that would have been what, like four hours? A footage? What are the chances that my roommate walks in just as I'm about to start painting? Anyways, this is gonna be a voiceover because painting is one of the most boring things and time consuming. Okay, this took a total of six hours, so we're just gonna, we gotta get into it. There's a lot to talk about. First off, my apologies for redoing what I did with my sunflower shoes video. Yes, my head is in the way again, this time with the bucket hat. You're gonna have to bear with it, don't worry. It's only like filling half of the frame most of the time. I do take it off eventually. But we're gonna start off with, um, uh, what is this guy called? Cagney Carnation from Cuphead. And I kind of wanted this video to be more of a chit chat with you guys because I like doing them and I know you guys like them too. I don't really think I've talked about the things that have influenced me or that I actually like and this Hydro Flask is literally every single thing I like put onto a water bottle. So yeah, I am a gamer. I love games, especially indie ones and Cuphead was definitely that game that I just loved playing because it's like so different from what I'm used to. The art style motivated me to start animation which I'm still working on. We're, we'll get there. And of course you guys know my obsession with Sunflower so I had to put him in there as like the start. Yeah he does fill up I think one fourth of the whole bottle. And painting wise um, I'll leave everything that I use in the description but let me just say that everything took around three layers if not more and I don't know if that means it's gonna chip off but please let me know in the comments like whether or not thing actually chips after mod podging it. I'm kind of scared to touch it right now. So after painting a little bit on this channel I've learned 
how to like do things strategically so I wanted to paint every single color first that I can like get all the oranges out of the way so the only other thing that was orange was this guy named Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle if you don't know it's a movie by Studio Ghibli and it's my favorite movie from them I'm not just a spirited away addict both of these characters are a mix of red orange and yellow so I thought might as well just do both of them at the same time and then I painted the lemon drop that I did it's a half of a lemon that's being squeezed and I also painted my less than three pin that I've drawn too many times and then the planet yellow I also painted the sunflower petals yellow on the planes vs zombie sunflowers because I love that game and it was the best game I ever played on the iPad and one of my friends said try to make this interactive make the things from each game interact with each other so I wanted the big sunflower to be looking at the little sunflower and you'll see like he's kind of distraught looking I also painted Jake the same color yellow and his arm is one of the hardest things to paint I swear to god that took like 10 minutes just in total I'm also painting the Japanese artist logo now because the one on my laptop is yellow with red petals also I'm just gonna give my opinion on the opaqueness of each color orange is okay took like three layers yellow is a bitch took around five this is the only thing that makes me dread painting videos you all know this and every single video I've done I've had to layer things to an absurd amount and I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know how y'all do it on TikTok so fast like those 15 seconds are misleading anyways I didn't have red paint at the time so I mixed a magenta and orange and somehow it came out true red so lucky me I guess I know color theory now and that's a lie by the way but I used the red to paint the flower petals on the Japanese logo the YouTube logo and calcifers flames also this is completely not related to the video but my roommate keeps walking in and out of this room and I can't I can't record this the room is over I'm trying okay we're working there I'm gonna do a whole video about my roommates eventually and it'll be an animation back to the video we're using brown paint to paint the villager head the head of the sunflower oh I don't know when Totoro got there but he's there uh he's dark gray I think is a little bit darker than usual and then we took some green to start painting the animal crossing leaf the creeper except the green I used was a little bit too dark so I had to like fix it with yellow and white and then when I got it to a lighter shade I used that to paint her twig and then the sunflower leaves green took like four layers by the way which you would think would be more opaque the only color that I took actually one layer was black these acrylic paints weren't that cheap okay like you pen spent some money just for our class and the reason I got all of them for free was because you know you can only go through so much paint and they had a big budget and you pen didn't accept me so I'm using this as revenge also I got so bored while painting because I just I've been here for like two hours at this point I started playing love is blind and my opinion on it um love is not blind unless you're blind sorry not sorry next we're getting into detailing because there's like a six different shades of green on this canvas which I didn't have to do also got a phone call there because um my taxes are due and I don't know how to fucking do them then thankfully enough this acrylic set had a skin tone color that was perfect perfect for the villager perfect for the mushroom from maple story which i don't know if anyone knows maple story anymore but please let me know if you do that one took three layers too and even though they dried quickly i wanted to make sure that it fully dried because i knew the pain of being impatient and then painting over it and then some of it chips off and then you gotta like repaint it and then you're too late and blah 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 you know but i had like 10 brushes behind me and that i swapped in and out and while i was letting one color dry i would move on to another color and just relayer it because I i'm anal about this shit also do not come from my hair okay this lighting is making it look more yellow and bronzy I promise I'll fix it when I go home I didn't bring the dye with me but overall everything's starting to come together once I added that blue you can see all the colors of the rainbow and it was looking pretty cute on camera except in person it is chunky as fuck Oh, and white? Oh, don't get me started on that. That one took maybe six layers to do. And I did not realize how much white I needed until looking at all the blank space I had left. I don't know if I'm going to add more to it yet. Like, I kind of don't want to because I'm lazy. But I also feel like I could, you know, make this a whole collage eventually. But pretty soon we're going to get to outlining. And honestly, I was so scared trying to outline because I thought, like, it's going to chip the paint. It's going to scrape off the paint or it won't even show up because, like, paint markers have never worked for me in the past. But these ones seemed good on Amazon. So I was like, whatever I'll buy it and it worked great uh, there are some times when I was like lifting the paint a little bit but that was because I was jabbing the pointy part into the water bottle because I was just so frustrated at this point from painting and I was cranky because I still hadn't eaten dinner I just ate ramen it's 1 a.m. right now but once you add the outline you know it just looks great and yes that is attack on titan in the background don't judge me oh I should have put attack on titan in here mm, I'm an idiot that's the first anime I watched before I became a weeb but yes overall I do recommend these black paint markers and I do want you to guys know that it is like a 
a 0.7 millimeter tip so it is pointy but I can't afford Posca pens yet and we're getting there and it's pretty opaque I mean you would expect black to be opaque enough to do one layer and it worked I did have to take some black paint and you know fill in like no face and the yin yang but overall I was very pleased for painting a hydro class for the first time and this is just gonna jump start me wanting to paint every other object I have in my fucking household because y'all keep sending me Instagram videos of me wanting to paint a mug a sunglasses cameras we'll get there eventually okay this is like me dipping my toe into the water and since we're nearing the end I'm gonna explain every single part of this hydro flask we have the big sunflower from Cuphead staring at the sunflower from Plants vs Zombies because he's trying to kill it Gary from Spongebob is hiding underneath him you also have Jake from Adventure Time who's trying to touch Turtwig from Pokemon and Turtwig is coming out of a Pokeball YouTube logo is behind the sunflower you have half of a lemon being squeezed I also have less than three logo the Animal Crossing villager is trying to pour what was going to be kombucha but has turned into water because I realized I need blue in this. He's trying to pour water onto Calcifer. Japanese artist underneath the villager. No face staring blankly up. Orange mushroom from Maple Story. Creeper hiding behind the sunflower. Yellow planet just because it's cute. Totoro is behind the villager holding onto an Animal Crossing leaf. And there is a yin yang in the background because I am Chinese. And that is everything on my Hydro Flask. You know when drag queens like to say I'm living, I'm breathing, I'm gagging? Bitch, I'm dying. I'm suffocating. I spent more than six hours on this thing and it, it's finally done. I am so tired of my god, but this is the final thing. Yada 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 yada. The fatigue of sitting down on my ass painting with brushes is settling in right now. I just want to socialize, but I have to stay here and edit this video tonight too. I'm also gonna modge podge this later tonight, but you don't need to see that because that's boring. If you've done this before and used modge podge to seal it, can you let me know if it's safe to actually like twist and you know touch because if that thing flakes off or anything i i'm calling the police i because this is not worth it i mean i could just put this up as decoration I, the reason why i didn't paint over here was because i plan on unscrewing it like this like the bitch i am but that is all i have for you guys today do not ask me to make another painting video i will do them when i want to because this is torture every day is torture also appreciate my lemon Earring. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every week, hit the bell notification, and as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. And now we have to clean it all up. Look, I have to clean all that up, all this shit up. I gotta clean it up. Ah!